While the West debates open source and keeps tightening API access, China's doing the opposite. It's actually dropping open weight AI models like Clockwork. And they're not just smarter, they're leaner, faster, and way cheaper. Case in point, Z.AI just dropped GLM 4.5, half the size of DeepSeek, and it runs on just eight NVIDIA H20 chips. That's not actually a stat. That could be a seismic shift. This isn't just another model drop. This is China's open source AI coup. And you're watching it unfold on front page by AIMTV. We had done a video earlier on China's policy on AI. Based on your comments and feedback online, this video talks about how that policy is moving forward on ground. Let's dive in. The West talked about open source AI. But in just one month, China shipped it. GLM 4.5, GLM 4.5 Air, WAN 2.2, Quen 3, Kimi K2, and more in the pipeline. Meanwhile, what's happening in the West? Meta might pull back from open weights and Tropic's throttling APIs open AI. Still, no open model. And let's be honest, the open source flag was raised in the West but China's the one running with it. And they're not just open, they have actually started undercutting prices too. Z.AI's model pricing? 11 cents per million input tokens, 28 cents per million output tokens. That's actually 90% cheaper than some Western rivals. And they support agentic AI, meaning they don't just respond. They reason across tasks. Oh, and also do remember those H20 chips the US restricted for export? Yeah, the GLM 4.5? Well, it's optimized for them. Even with chip bans, China is still building. But they're not building alone. At WAIC 2025, Premier Li Qiang made it crystal clear. AI must not become the exclusive game of a few countries. They're not just actually releasing models, they're launching an AI United Nations, inviting 30 plus global South nations to co-develop AI. This isn't just open source by convenience, it's open source by diplomacy. While the West debates access, China is exporting inclusion. Let's actually zoom in on Z.AI. Once called Zipu, they are actually planning a $300 million IPO backed by Alibaba, Tencent and Aramco's Prosperity 7. Already, they have raised $1.5 billion and they are not alone. Moonshots, Kimi K2, outperforming GPT-4 in code. DeepSeek V3, shockingly low training costs. Tencent's Hunyuan World, can generate full 3D game scenes. Step fun, open sourcing their reasoning stack. So basically, here's the headline. The world's top four open models right now, all from Chinese labs. And let's actually not sugarcoat this. The AI stack war, it's no longer theoretical. Even the CSIS says it out aloud. Denying China chips won't stop their AI. And get this, OpenAI's own internal warnings flagged Zippu as a serious competitive threat. Because while the US pushes for close dominance, China is pushing for open coordination on its own terms. And it's not just about models, it's actually about mindshare. At ACL 2025, China produced over 51% of all first author papers. More than the next four countries combined, including the US and India. So basically, that's not just shipping products, that's owning the research frontier. Here is our final takeaway. This isn't just a story about open source. It's actually a story about open control. And if this trend holds, China won't just win the model count. They'll actually define what open AI even means going forward. So what about the West? Well, it's not falling behind because it can't compete. It's actually falling behind because it chose not to lead. The future of OpenAI might not come from San Francisco, Seattle or London. It may rise from Shanghai, Chengdu and Hangzhou. Once upon a time, the West opened the AI gates. Now, 
China is rewriting the rules by inviting the world in. This is front page by AIM TV. Like, share, subscribe, and always remember: Think AI, Think AIM.